In this next example, it tells us that Quinn needs $35,000. If he needs it, it means he doesn't have it. So $35,000 in the future means that that's going to be the A value. So he wants to buy a car in four years. So how much should she invest today? Today means at present, okay, at 9%, and 9% is 0 0.09, compounded monthly. Monthly is 12 times per year to reach this goal. So again, above here, we have the future value formula, but we need to convert this into a present value formula. So we know that the present value formula is going to be P is equal to A. We know that P is equal to A times 1 plus I to the exponent negative N. So let's start filling in. Uh, the information that we've got. So I know that my future value needs to be $35,000. I don't know what my present value is. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, my interest rate, my R is going to be 0 0.09, and it's being compounded monthly, so I divide that. So each compounding period per year, 0 0.09 divided by 12, be 0.0075. Okay. And then my n value, I know it's going to be in there for four years times 12 months, so 12 compounding periods per year for a grand total of 48 compounding periods. So what I need to do now is I need to. Uh, put in my equation. And so when I put in my equation, I'm looking for the present value. So P is equal to A times 1 plus I to the exponent negative N. So P is equal to 35,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0075 to the exponent negative 48. Okay, so if I clean this up just a little bit, P equals 35,000 times 1.0075 to the exponent negative 48. And then when I go through and calculate, I should have 1.0075 to the exponent negative 48. And then I take that answer and I multiply it by 35,000. That gives me a grand total of $24,451 and approximately 50 cents. Okay. So again, my present value is less than my future amount, which is what it should be in an ideal world. Uh, and so again, we're just substituting in and then solving.